guys, it's John and Morgan with Long Haul Lifesavers, and welcome to another episode of Finally Friday. Woohoo! We made it to the weekend. Is that your new catchphrase? Sure is. <laughs> and I get to go back to work. Yeah. Well, you had four days off, so that's not... After working six. Well, or seven. at was least seven? you... I don't remember. It was a lot of days in a row, is all I know. Yeah. And he was really dragging by the end of it. We've had a very busy four days. The first day, we were able to kind of, kind of relax a little bit. We met some cool people in the RV park, and we hung out with them, and then we went to oh, yeah. dinner with them. Did mm -hmm. you blink all that out? Totally. <laughs> Completely forgot. So, when we got home from dinner, we had a... A hailstorm. Yeah. Not our first hailstorm in the RV. And let me tell you, hailstorms in RVs are is a little scary. Um, it was about cotton ball size hail. There's no visible damage to the RV. There is to the truck. But yeah. Every time we get a new truck, we always Every end up time. in a hailstorm. Every and it's always in New Mexico. Yeah. As a matter of fact, I called our insurance agent and when she saw my name come across her caller ID, she said, Please tell me you're not calling about hail. I said, Yes, ma'am, I am and she said are you back in New Mexico? And I said, yes, we are. She said, when are you going to learn not to go back to that state? Because we've no. now had five vehicles that have had hail damage in New Mexico. Four. The Tahoe, your old truck, the Mercedes, the new truck. Four. Did the Jeep? No. no. Okay, the Jeep was the only one that survived. Yeah. Yeah, so four so vehicles. my truck looks like someone shot it with a BB gun a hundred mm. times all over the hood. Yeah, and the tiny, roof. tiny pelts. And then there's like There's like two, one big one. There's two big ones on the hood. But we don't want to get it fixed yet because we're still in hail season. So there still is the possibility that we'll get another hail storm. So yes. we're, we're going to hold off. We're stuck here for one more month. Well, three and a half weeks left. Yeah. We want to hold out till we go wherever we're going next. And hopefully where we're going next isn't... <laughs> <laughs> the hail doesn't follow us. Mostly because any truck service that we've had done here, we haven't been very pleased with. No. And so Larry H. Miller Dodge, you suck. Just calling it like I see it. One star review. I wouldn't even give him a star. No. Can you give him a zero star? No, you have to oh. pick a star. So I did a one star review. It's literally been the worst dealership we've ever come into contact with. The and, laziest people. And like I said, was that last week or two weeks ago? I've had a lot of vehicles, like a lot of vehicles. Oh. So for me to give a one star to a dealership, you're really, really bad. Just the background. We put the new bumper on the truck, which you've seen the video. We can post it up here for you. Um, over here. Over there. Where? Either one. So we had to go get the front sensors reflashed because they weren't reading properly. So we took it in and they said, well, there's no codes. There's nothing we can fix. So they weren't actually mechanics. If it didn't come up on the computer saying something was wrong, they weren't going to fix it. Mm -mm. Um, so his solution was, we'll just turn off the front sensors. I didn't just spend $80,000 on a truck to turn off the sensors. We're going to get out of New Mexico and go to a, a dealership that actually knows what they're doing and then we'll have them reflash it. The worst part of it is John, you know, obviously was at work. So I've been dealing with the dealership. Well, first of all, this guy that we've been working with is a little old school. Maybe is that the right word? He'll talk to him, but he doesn't want to talk to me that type of old school. He basically told me that I was lying, that the sensors were fine, you know, because the computer told him so. And I said, that's fine. I understand that. But here's video, three different videos of me sitting at a stoplight with not a single person in front of me or next to me. And the sensors are saying that I'm rear ending someone. Yeah. There's obviously a problem. And I showed him proof of that, and he said, well, I don't know what to tell you. The computer says there's no problem. It's like mechanics aren't even mechanics anymore. No. You plug your car into the computer, and if it says everything's okay, then everything's okay. Even though you're driving down the road, and it's, it sounds like it's exploding under the hood. Right. Obviously, something's wrong. Your computer's just not telling you what it is. Be in a mechanic, diagnose the issue, and fix it. But they don't want to even drive it because... I don't know why. Liability? I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't, laziness Whatever. is what I call it. Anyways, end of that. So we'll put some footage in for from the hailstorm for you so that you can see it was loud. how loud it is. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And if you are in an RV in a hailstorm or you've never been in one um, and you're new to RVing, um, something that's kind of happens most of the time in a hailstorm is your vents or your skylights will bust out. The very first thing I do every time a hailstorm starts is I run into the bathroom and take all the towels that we have and I line the entire shower 
with towels and I cover I hang towels down over the glass doors and everything because what happens is if that skylight busts the hail will come through and it will bust your shower and or bounce up and hit the glass and bust your glass so I just pat it as much as I can years ago we were in a really bad one that I even took the pillows off the bed and covered it with pillows even We also, um, when we bought our rig, I went through and replaced the, the vent covers and the skylights with the, is it never shatter or never, something like that? Never something. Never bust, yeah. never shatter, never something or other, never break essentially. Um, and we've been through two or three hell storms with it and we haven't had any issues. There's been no cracking and I was actually up on the roof cleaning out the ACs one time and I slipped and caught myself with my hand and put my hand on the skylight and it essentially pushed in and then as soon as I lifted off it popped back out. Um, didn't crack, didn't break, didn't do anything. So mm -hmm. um, they're a little more expandable than your traditional ones. So if you do have to replace them, I would recommend those. Now, of course, they say that they're never bust or never shatter or whatever, but everything that's plastic eventually dry rots, especially yeah. when you're in the desert. So it's good to check them from time to time. Take it with a grain of salt. Yes, yeah. right. Moving on. Give me that. These little things here. So, no, you have yeah. to hold it back. No, you gotta get it close. No, so that they can see. <laughs> these little things. So I just found out about these. Apparently, she never knew about them. Uh, dark chocolate covered espresso. John found these dark chocolate espresso beans. And apparently he knew about these. Everyone knows about them. Well, I didn't know anything about them. And he brought them home and I thought... I didn't know what they were and I'm doing laundry yesterday and he says, hey, do you want to try a coffee bean? And I was like, okay, so I ate it and then I've been eating coffee the wrong way my entire life then. But she eats like handfuls of them and they're espresso beans. But they don't do anything to me, so. Yes, they do. I don't think they do. What? <laughs> you, were si you were sitting outside literally shaking your leg and like shaking. Oh, well, they're really, really good. So if if shaking is what the side effect is, I think I can it continue is. to yeah, eat it's them. It's called a caffeine high. <laughs> They're super delicious. <laughs> oh, I've always been a dark chocolate fan, but woo, you put that coffee bean in there too. Mmm. Is that better? Did you know that's what you're supposed to do with water bottles? <laughs> it's called <laughs> crush to conserve. Yeah, let me show you one more time. Okay, you got your normal <laughs> bottle here, okay? You put your cap just so it's on. And then you crush it, get all the air out of it, and then twist the cap on tight, and it stays flat like that. Yeah. Uh, what are you doing? I'm getting the coffee beans out of my cup. Oh, I know, they do stick in there. Okay, so John's California license still has not come through. Go figure. So, uh, we are now, I mean, we're still not panicking yet because we're three and a half weeks out, but now we're looking kind of at anywhere, anywhere that we can go that hopefully isn't New Mexico. <laughs> I'm not staying in New Mexico. <laughs> no, we're kind of over it. We're over being locked down. Locked up. Why are you still locking everything down? Your numbers are down. Yeah, but yeah, unfortunately, it's getting, it's sad. It's really sad. You, you can't even, we can't even go to parks. We can't go to national parks. We can't can't go to state parks. They check for your ID and since we have an out-of-state ID, mm -hmm. you can't go into it. And even if like we took um, pay stubs that says where we are. Mm -hmm. It was like four weeks worth the pay stubs to show that we've been here longer than our stupid quarantine and they still wouldn't let us in. Like we looked at, since he had four days off, we looked at, you know, well, let's drive up to Taos or somewhere just to get away from the Albuquerque area, something new change of scenery. And it's nothing's open so we can't we can't go do anything none of the historical sites are open basically none of the restaurants are open no none so of the parks are open so it's what's pointless. yeah so what's the point of driving two or three hours somewhere and to find out you can't even do anything just so to burn fuel burning gas burning gas <laughs> lane party oh. oh i don't have a north face on today you don't mm. you don't 
But on his four days off, we did get a lot more projects done around the house. We shot renovations part four and five, and you did. I thought it was three and four. No, I'm pretty sure it's four and five. Who knows? I don't One know. Of those. It's three, four, four, or five. It's four and five, I think. But you did have North Face on in both four okay. and five. He had to wear his hat because he got so sunburned the first burnt. day. <laughs> Did, you were the one that didn't want this, right? I'm sick of buying it, period. And I bet all of them know what we're talking about. It happened. There it is. Sleep number. <sighs> so this has sucked because the four days that I've been off, we sold our other bed. And so we have been sleeping on the little twin camping air mattresses that are like that thin. But here's what's funny, guys. He's complaining about sleeping on an air mattress, but we just bought an air mattress. It's not the same. <laughs> It's a glorified air mattress with foam over it. There's a lot of difference between a $5 air mattress from Walmart and a sleep number. The air is better. So that is going to be delivered today, tonight, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, tonight. So we finally won't be sleeping on crappy air mattresses. Now we'll be sleeping on expensive air mattresses. <laughs> Is that better? Yes, there you okay. go. But we did get new sheets too, mm -hmm. which was really cool because I really like sleep number sheets. I liked them. Um, that was the only thing I liked about our old sleep number bed was the sleep number sheets because they have those elastic bands on the corners and they stay tucked around your... You know, you used to make fun of me because no. I had elastic bands no. on my bed. No, 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 no. Okay, true story, guys. Gotta tell you this. Okay, so when John and I first started dating, I I don't remember even where... You were still at work or something, and I was trying to be nice and, like, wash your sheets for you and make your bed and do all this. So I'm literally, to paint you a picture, rolling on the bed, pulling as hard as I can. And I'm like, what in the hell? Did My he glue these sheets to the bed? <laughs> I could not figure it out. And finally, I text him, and I was like, what's the deal with your sheets? And he said, flip the mattress. So I literally, you know, pushed the mattress up against the wall he had bed suspenders <laughs> that clamped to each corner crisscrossed so it doesn't matter how hard you pull you will never get those sheets off i don't like wrinkles in my sheets if i have a wrinkle it drives me nuts no so they pulled them tight and they never lifted up yeah but i don't mind i mean i like mine somewhat tight but i don't mind a little bit of wrinkles nope. every night when he gets into the bed he has to remake his bed and fluff it all out so that it's all flat. It drives me nuts. I can't do it. I can't tolerate it. And more interesting things. <laughs> Make sure you get entered. You've got one more week. The giveaway ends on August 13th, so next Thursday. Um, we will announce the winner on August 14th. Which is our next Finally Friday vlog. Yes, it is. And this one's real easy to enter in. You don't have to go out and you don't have to good, do a good deed, even though we do recommend it. And we'll put the link here for you yep. for that giveaway video. We shipped out the laptop also for the winner of the Pay It Forward giveaway, and that went to As For Me In My House, so make sure I did send you back an email. Make sure you keep your eyes open for that package. I think we sent or the tracking number two, I did right? send you the yeah. tracking number two. Boop! <laughs> <laughs> Why I oughta. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you want to wrap it up? You guys have a great weekend, have a great week, and we will see you, well, Monday, but also next Friday for our Friendly Friday. Where we announce our winner. For the lap, or for the, for the laptop, for the tablet. For the tablet. <laughs> All right, guys, that's going to be it for today's episode. Thanks for watching. Until next time, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and then head on over to Instagram and follow us at Long Haul Lifesavers. See you guys. Bye. Dunzo. <laughs>